Next guest tonight is an Academy Award winning actress you know from The Wrestler, Spider Man Homecoming, and My Cousin Vinny. Please welcome Marisa Tomei. <laughs> Nice to have you here. I'm a big fan. <laughs> Likewise. I... And uh, I, we met for the first time backstage, and all day long, we went, I know I've interviewed her before. I know I've done something with Marisa Tomei before, and I just figured it out when I looked over at that guy over there. That's Paul Danello, my supervising producer and one of my oldest friends in the like world. Uh, hi. Okay. Do you, by any <laughs> chance, remember coming to Second City back in, like, 1990 and doing the set Doing the improv set that night. Yes. You did a scene but with me and him on stage. No. Yes. I don't remember being on stage. That part's a blank. No, you came on stage. <laughs> you came on stage. I think we were guys like hitting on you at a bar or something like that. <laughs> I think, or was it a funeral or something like that? Uh, one of the was other. Was it gambling? <laughs> we were in a cabin. We were. <laughs> we were in a snowed-in cabin, oh my and God. yeah, all this was. It was gangbusters, right? Just tell me it was fantastic. Gang fantastic. I don't remember the scenes that don't go well. <laughs> anyway, nice to Is see you again. Is that why I have such affection for you? I think there's a lot of reasons, but no, that's no. nice but anyway, to know there's a history. I figured it out. There it is. Nice to see you again. <laughs> you too. We should work together more than 27 let's years do, apart. Let's do that. <laughs> Um, well, you know, obviously, everybody knows you from your fantastic <laughs> movie roles, and, and they love you as an actress. But you. We know you from the movies, but you grew up here in New York, mm -hmm. so I imagine yeah. you must have first fallen in love with acting through the theater, right? Did yes, because my parents. Kid? Yes, my parents love the theater, and yeah. they, did they have they, to drag you, or were you like, no, I'm all in? No, oh, it was a great way to spend time with them. They get, they were very, very into it. I got to see a chorus line in the oh, wow. first iteration, which wow. was super exciting and uh, inspired. Was there a part uh, of my brother and I like... to take tap lessons and all that stuff? And you that's can when tap? Yeah, yeah. I mean, he's better than me, and he's not here. So, but yeah, <laughs> I can. <laughs> was there a part as a kid? I was like, oh, I want to grow up and play that part. You know, I was kind of into Robert Duvall, actually. I mean, Who isn't? Switch it. yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So um, anything that he was in, that, that was my aspiration. Wanted to play I wanted Duvall's to be, be Robert Duvall, and any part he was in. Yes, it was like, you know, <laughs> you, you know, gender fluidity. I love the it's smell of. Now. I love the smell of napalm <laughs> really? in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, you're in Spider-Man Homecoming, which is coming up. You've already played Aunt May one time yes. already in the Avengers movie. Um, there's a little bit of controversy because there are depictions of Aunt May that exist in the Marvel comics. Yes. And, and, and this is what they are. <laughs> and this is what you look like. You, can you look imagine. like this. This is not the same person. You can <laughs> you can imagine my horror when I was cast and I started doing the research. <laughs> but then I thought, I'm just going to go with it. And I, I actually made a case to go with, for the, like, to age me up. But the, no, they no, didn't do it. No, no, no. It's, it's good. It's, it's, it's sexy Aunt May. Yeah. No, not this. It's sexy Aunt May. Well, the new play is at the Lincoln Center Theater. And it's called How to Transcend... A happy marriage, mm -hmm. and it's uh, it's it's a complex and, and somewhat bizarre play. If I've got this right, it has a lot of Catholic references in the play, but there are also thruples, orgies, meat slaughter, and pot brownies. <laughs> Not the Catholicism I grew up with. <laughs> Even Pope Francis, as liberal as he is, <laughs> is not of good any I'm of this back. stuff. It's going back to the Gnostic, you uh -huh. know, <laughs> the roots. Uh, were you raised Catholic? Uh, I was not. Okay. No, no. Were you, did you go to church at all or anything like that? No. No? No. It was broad, really. Broadway. Yeah, very, yeah, just the church, yeah, the church of pasta, the you're, church of Italian holidays, with a very loose religious feeling to them. Uh, your character uh, is a Latin teacher. Mm -hmm. um, yes. uh, did you study Latin? A mom, mas, mata, mama, mas, mama, It wasn't even offered. Well, you, wow. That's actually in the play. My husband a mom, does, mas, mata, does mama, conjugate mama, his mama. love for me. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah, yes. Agricola in Gallia Est. What is that one? The farmer is in Gaul. Oh. 
It's the Sounds first so sentence. Much. In, it's the first <laughs> sentence you translate in every Latin book. Yeah, yeah. Really? That took seven years. It's I can't remember a thing. <laughs> That's it. I've gone through my entire vocabulary. Started off with gangbusters, though. There's a, there's a, there's like a lot of references of, to meat slaughter. Yes, there's a lot. The, yes, there is. There Slaughtering is, there animals the, and. Yeah, it's it's a lot of it is getting in touch with. Uh, the limitlessness of love, and that means including the wildness that's inside of us. So there is meat slaughtering that's involved. I don't do the meat slaughter. I have been a participant in, I, I did slaughter an animal once. That's all I'll, I'll say. But not for I'm religious reasons. That's it. That's, it all went wrong, didn't it? I'm no, afraid that is not all farm. you will say. It was a farm. You have to farm. say more than that. <laughs> yes, okay. yes. And it was a farm animal. It was, it was a farm animal, and it was with a farmer who was also a chef who... Uh, I, I wanted to, I don't know why, there was something inside me he offered and I wanted sure. to see, you know, it's, well, it's a great eat, date. It's a great first date. <laughs> if you eat meat, I think at some point you should be willing to kill the thing you're going to eat. Just That's to be honest about it. That's the play. What? Yes. You didn't even see it. Come see it. <laughs> Come do it with me. You know half the lines already. <laughs> that would be fantastic. <laughs> Um, uh, so, uh, there's a, th there's something called a thruple in this play. Yes, a triad a or a triad. A triad, can you explain yes. that? Because I am an old-fashioned man who wears khaki pants and, uh, <laughs> drives his Volvo to the dry cleaner. What, what is a thruple and how does that work? Well, the thruple, the thruple or triad, uh, are... Is it two it's, men, it's two, two In women? this case, it's two men and it a woman. Anything. Yes. Okay. And they're in a polyamorous relationship, and they are all committed to each other. Mm -hmm. uh, they have rules within that mm -hmm. situation, rules about of play and of commitment. They can't sleep with friends, um, close friends. But if they want to bring someone else into this situation, they all have to agree. There's a lot of, there's a bunch of rules. They're all explained in the play. Mm -hmm. Is there any <laughs> chance my that Mike Pence not will be thruple. allowed to have dinner with this throuple? <laughs> no. No, never. No, like no. <laughs> well, you have, you have a, a singular honor, which I just found out about, is that, I'm going to get this right, Lady Gaga told Rolling Stone in an interview that if she ever has a biopic, she wants you to play her. Are you excited <laughs> that. about that idea? <laughs> Because for you, not only could you wear the meat dress, you could slaughter the I animal. I could slaughter my own meat dress. <laughs> well, I don't know. I don't know what the play would or what the uh, movie would actually be. But I was hoping right now that you and I could act out a Lady Gaga. You play Lady Gaga. Yes. And, and we'll do a scene. I got here's one for you. Uh, you you do the lines that say Marisa next to it. Okay. And this I, is I this is a script made only of her lyrics. Do you need your glasses to read? Oh, can no, I, I, I use gotta, yours. No, you can use, you can use yours okay. if you like. <laughs> okay. All right. All right. Okay, ready? This is uh, the uh, Lady Gaga biopic starring Marisa Tomei okay. as Lady Gaga. <clears throat> <clears throat> I won't tell you that I love you, kiss or hug you. I'm bluffing with my muffin. I'm not lying. I'm just stunning with my love. Uh, glue gunning. Mm, 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 poker face. <laughs> poker face. I want your ugly. I want your disease. I want your everything. As long as it's free. I want <laughs> your love. I want your love, love, love. I want your love. <laughs> Transcend a happy marriage in Lincoln Center.